Hello, in this video today, we're going to practice factoring trinomials. Most of the trinomials we're going to factor are quadratics, but I'll show you that not all trinomials are quadratics. The first two kinds of trinomials that we're going to deal with are cases where we have a uh, coefficient of 1 in front of the first term, and then later where we have a coefficient of another number besides 1. So we're going to start out with a really simple example. Uh, we're going to do x squared. plus 13x, plus 40. Uh, so first of all, when I say factor, we're basically undoing the distributive property. We're undoing FOIL, F-O-I-L. And we're going to write this in the format where it is now the product of two binomials. Um, so the first way you can do this is just to kind of look at the problem and think about it and try and figure it out in your head. Um, that's something that works sometimes, but uh, I'll show you some other strategies to also to use here uh, shortly. But with this one, uh, you want to think about two numbers. I'm just going to write this down. Two numbers which multiply to be 40, but add be 13. So uh, if you're not sure what those are, it always helps to just write out all the options. So for 40, uh, 1 times 40 makes 40. 2 times 20. 4 times 10. And 5 times 8. And 5 times 8 makes 40, and it also adds up to be 13. So uh, we're going to have x and x, since this is just a 1x squared, it's easy to know that the first term has to be x and x, and then we're just going to have a plus 5 and a plus 8. And uh, if you wanted to check, you could say uh, we're going to do FOIL uh, F first, outer, inner, last. And uh, this would simply be first is x times x, that's x squared. The outer term is 8 times x, makes 8x. The inner term is 5 times x. And finally, 5 times 8 is 40. And if you add these like terms together, you get x squared, you get 13x right there, and 40, that's just where we started. So. That shows me that we factored this correctly, and you can easily take the factored form, uh, the two binomials, multiply them out, and get your original trinomial. So that was a good example to start with. Next, I want to do one that has a number uh, that is not just 1 in front of the x squared. So I'm going to move this down a little bit. And uh, we are going to do 3x squared. plus 17x, plus 10. Okay, there we go. So again, you're trying, the goal is to think of two numbers that multiply, uh, the first two terms multiply to be 3x squared, and then the last two numbers multiply to be 10, and then the outers and inners add up to be 17x. So uh, that's a little trickier than it, than you might think. Um, because the 3 is a, is, is prime, uh, only 1 times 3 makes 3. We already know that the first terms have to be uh, already 3x and 1x. So that gives us a little bit of a head start. But sometimes it's not that easy. So let me just finish this example. I'm going to show you the uh, 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 kind of the just look at it option, and then we'll do a more methodical uh, uh, option that probably makes more sense to, to do sometimes. Uh, for the 10, I need two numbers that multiply to be 10, and the options are 1 times 10, or 2 times 5. And basically, what I'm going to do first here is say, hmm, maybe I'll just pick one. We're trying to get 17, so maybe a 5 and a 3, like that. Uh, 3x times 5 is 15x. Then a 2 right here, 
uh, 2 times x is 2x. So this actually works um, if you FOIL, you get 3x times x is 3x squared. Outer terms, O is for outer. 3x times 5 is 15x. Inner is 2 times x. And last is 2 times 5, that's 10. So you can see that here, that does add up to 17x. And we got our 10 and our 3x squared. So uh, we, we did it right. I did it right. But for you uh, just learning this for the first time, let me show you another option for doing this problem. Uh, when there's a number out front in, 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 in front of the x squared, let's just write this again. 3x squared plus 17x plus 10. Um, what you can do first is you can say, I'm going to take this 3 and multiply it by that 10. And I'm just going to write pretend over here. We're going to pretend that I really have 1x squared plus 17x plus 30. So where I got that is I just took the 3, multiplied it by the 10, and just that's 30, and wrote 30 out here. And uh, so this is not the problem that I, I started with. It's not the same polynomial, but it's one I'm going to use as a tool to get the one I want. So once I get that 1x squared there, I'm going to look at 30 and think about my options. Two numbers that multiply to be 30 but add up to be 17. 1 times 30. 2 times 15. 3 times 10. 5 times 6. You can see that uh, 2 times 15 is an option that works. So I'm going to just go and say, I'm going to write this as x plus 2. x plus 15. Uh, so that is how you would factor what we have right here. Uh, we saw a similar problem recently, just a few minutes ago. Uh, but now we have to go back to this 3. So earlier I multiplied 3 times 10 and I got 30. So if you want to undo multiply, you use divide. And so what you do now, uh, getting towards the end, is you take that 3 and you say, I'm going to divide 15 by 3 and divide 2 by 3. And so the way this finally works out is if the number, if the 15 over 3 comes out to be a whole number, a nice integer, then you just keep it and say that's x plus 5. If it does not come out to be a nice integer, you take that 3 and you zoom it up in front and you just have 3x plus 2. And so this, uh, just like we saw a minute ago, 3x squared plus 17x plus 10. I got 3x plus 2 times x plus 5 right there. And now I've got the exact same thing again using this bottoms up technique. Sometimes it's called bottoms up. That's a common uh, uh, name that is used to describe this. Um, so that's, an, that's how you factor um, uh, trinomials uh, that have just a 1x squared and a, uh, a number that's not just 1x squared. I want to do one more example of the uh, uh, type of problem we just did. Okay. 10x squared plus 19x plus 6. Now, in the last problem I did, we had a 3x squared. And the nice thing about 3x squared is I knew it had to be 3 times 1. And uh, with, uh, with 10, we could do 10 times 1 or 5 times 2. So this gets to be a lot more tricky if you're just going to try and look at it and just think of it in your mind and figure it right out. Uh, probably not super feasible. Also, 6 has options, 6 times 1 and 3 times 2. Also, we have a negative in here, so that kind of throws more uh, uncertainty into the, into the problem. So we're going to just jump right into the bottoms-up technique. And I'm going to write down my pretend trinomial. I'm going to take uh, 10 times 6. 
and write this as x squared minus 19x plus 60. Uh, and uh, so now I'm going to factor this guy, which is way easier. Uh, we've got x and x. I need two numbers that multiply to be 60 but add up to negative 19. Let's write down some options. 1 times 60, 2 times 30, 3 times 20, 4 times 15. There's a bunch of these. 5 times 12, 6 times 10. I think that's it. Um, and so for 19... Uh, notice that 4 and 15 do add up to be 19. But in this case, because it's negative 19, we're going to have to have negative 4 and negative 15. So I want to do this. Minus 4 and minus 15. So that's my start. Um, now, uh, I did multiply 6 by 10 uh, to get this pretend polynomial. So I have to undo that by dividing by 10. So I'm going to go divide by 10, divide by 10. And I told you that if it comes out to be a nice whole number, you keep it. And uh, if not, you have to take the denominator and pop it up to the numerator. But this is a special case where the fractions can be reduced. And with this technique, if you do not reduce the fractions first, you will be in big, big trouble. Uh, you must reduce the fractions first. So uh, I'm going to look at my 4 over 10 and rewrite that as x minus 2 over 5. That reduces by 2. And then over here, we're going to have x minus uh, 15 over 10 reduces by 5 to be 3 over 2. So now I can go ahead. Neither of these is a nice whole number. So that 5 is going to pop up. That 2 is going to pop up. We're going to have 5x minus 2, and then 2x minus 3. So that's my factorization uh, that should go up here. 5x minus 2 and 2x minus 3 is the same thing. We're going to just check it real quick. Check with FOIL. Uh, so we'll do first is 5x times 2x. That's 10x squared. Uh, outer is minus 3 times 5x, minus 15x. Inner is minus 2 times 2x, that's minus 4x. And last is minus 2 times minus 3, that's 6. And if you add up the middle terms, you get 10x squared. Uh, these two are minus 19x, and then plus 6. And that is... Uh, what we started with, 10x squared minus 19 plus 6. Uh, so that is uh, how you take a trinomial. Uh, in these cases, they were quadratics. They don't have to be quadratic, quadratics. So that'll be dealt with in a later video. Um, but it gets you going on how to take some really difficult uh, trinomials and factor them into two binomials.